Hey guys, what's up? It's number nine here, and today I'm going to show you how to um, change hair color in Photoshop. But first, before I get into that, uh, I have some news. I got my wireless card. It came in a lot sooner than I expected. So, and I got it working on Ubuntu and on Windows. So, I'll, so definitely some new tutorials for Ubuntu coming soon. But um, I can't do, post any right now because I'm kind of having trouble with my recording software on Ubuntu. But I'll get it fixed as soon as possible. Okay, so again, back to the tutorial. So today we're going to learn how to um, recolor hair in Photoshop. Uh, now, you might want to get a better image than I do because I did this before. And it, I learned that since it's kind of blonde, it doesn't really work. But, I mean... It's nice to have more of a solid color, but I'm going to work with this. So first, what you want to do is you want to find an image that you think you would be good at recoloring. Then, you got to paste it or open it in Photoshop. And uh, take a brush and select the brush tool. And select a decent size for the person's hair. Like, compare it. Um, I'm going to use 35, because when I did it earlier, it worked good. And also, when you first get it... The hardness is going to be on 100. You got to put it down to zero because we're working with hair, and if it's if the hardness is 100, it's going to be more of a solid color instead of a um a natural color. So what you want to do, I'm going to zoom in. You want to start and and once you select the brush tool, you want to select this quick mask mode tool or press Q. Doesn't matter. All right. So what you want to do now is you want to start coloring. Now it's going to show up red, but you're not recoloring it red, so don't worry. So you just start coloring in the hair and everything. I'm going to fast forward just because um, this might take a while. Alright guys, now um, here is uh, my finished product or whatever. So now what you want to do is you want to exit quick mask mode by just pressing the quick mask mode button. And now the whole image is going to be selected right here and you don't want that. So all you got to do is in order to select the hair, you got to go to layer and uh, Oh, my bad. Select and go to inverse. And there you go. The hair, just the hair is selected. Now, all you gotta do is go to, um, uh, layer, new fill layer, and solid color. Now, uh, name it whatever you want. Just name, I'm just gonna name it hair. And, um, I'm gonna put the, the mode, you gotta put the mode on soft light just to make it look good. And then all you gotta do now is change the color. I'm gonna make it like a purplish color. There you go. It's not perfect, guys, but make sure you do it perfect if you really want it to be look nice. Alright, guys, there you go. See ya.